Yes. A piece of metal. There you go. Next. Uh, Somebody else. Quick, quick. Yes, sir. Uh, zinc coated in copper. Zinc coated in copper. A cylinder. A cylinder. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Currency. Currency. Something inedible. Something inedible. Is it a memorial? It's a memorial. Yes. Not alive. Not alive. Circular. Circular. Come on. Not square. <laughs> Good piggy back. <laughs> Next, next, next. Engraved. Engraved. Yep. Yep. Engraved. Yeah, not valuable. Three dimensional. What else? <laughs> no longer valuable. <laughs> think, think, think. Yes. But, but don't think. Imagine. Worthless. <laughs> it's a building block. Come on, guys, on the back right here. Come on. Yes, sir. It's very thin. Material. It's a material. Light. It's light. Makes noise. Small. Small. Anything else? Yes, sir. Flat. It's flat. Three dimensional. Yes. A five year old told me it spends most of its life in the dark. I thought, Whew, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> it spends most of its life in the dark. It's been touched by whom? Who knows? It's travel. It has life. It has a date on it. It's lived. What else? Now your thinking is different. Let's do let's stop this. The next thing I want to ask you is when I challenged you with this, where did you go? When you looked at this, where were you? Where did you travel to? Inside your brain, inside your mind, inside your body, where did you go? Did you go somewhere? When I told you the little girl said it spins most of its life, where did you go? No, no, where did you go? Not where did it go, where did you go? Musician stands in front of, stands in front of an audience, they're about to play a horn, a trumpet, a violin. Where do they go? Into the music. Do they go like this to the audience? No, they do something else. They... Where are they? When I ask you to look at this, where were you? That's right. But you traveled there. How often every day do you travel to that place? How often are you outside of your body on a daily basis? How often do you go to that place that you went just for that split second, even if you didn't stay there very long, you experienced something because you traveled. It's not time traveling, it's nothing exotic, but you went somewhere because the reason I'm saying this is because that place that you went is where you can find something that's probably gonna be the most important thing and voice of your life. It's where you find that inner voice. It's where I found that inner voice when I was six years old in a town of 36 people in the middle of outer south nowhere, Texas. Music found me. How did it find me? And when it found me, what did I do? I started hearing this voice. It became a calling. It became that tiny voice that led me to where I am this moment. You each of you have one of those voices. That voice can become your closest friend, your most trusted confidant. Some people call it your conscience. You know, you've got one guy over here and one guy over there. One's good, one's bad, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, if you want to go that way, that's fine. But for me, it's a single voice. And it's incredibly quiet. But you know what it is? It's always there. Any 